God. Thank you for the new day that you have made. May your name be exalted forevermore. In Jesus' name do we pray and give thanks. Amen. 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 Let's celebrate. <laughs> Somebody shout hallelujah. Somebody shout hallelujah. Hallelujah. To shout to the Lord, say hallelujah. Hallelujah. So much that we cannot even tell it all. He is a God of wonders. Hallelujah. Somebody Amen. Let's celebrate Jesus as we take our seats. We thank God. Oh, we thank God. We thank God for his presence in his house. And um, I thank God so much for those who are listening and watching from far. The Lord is here for you. I say the Lord is here for you. Amen. The Lord will make sure he speaks to your life. He says, come to me. You who are heavy laden. And I will give you rest. And so today I brought a God who gives rest. I say I bring a God who gives rest. Because God is always there for us ready to change our story. Say hallelujah. God is ready to change our story. God is ready to do a new thing. God is ready to take us to another level. I say God is ready. And when you're not shouting amen, I even wonder why. It's, it's like you don't believe that God is able. <laughs> hallelujah. And you know whether you believe it or not, God is able. God is able. He will make sure your story is different. Let me tell you. We don't start a journey in God. That has no end. And let me tell you the end. The end the Bible says. The Lord has a good plan of us. To give us. A good. A good end. Say hallelujah. The Lord has a good plan. To give us. A good end. Hallelujah. When I say a good end, that means no matter what is happening now, the future is greater and the glory of the latter time shall be greater. Say hallelujah. I said the glory of the latter time shall be greater. What the Lord is doing is greater. I say what the Lord is doing is greater. If yesterday was so bad, let me tell you something. Better things are coming. It doesn't matter what the devil uses to do what he's doing. But God is in need. I say God is in it. There's no day, I want to say this. There's no day the devil manages to touch your life without permission from God. Uh -huh. Hallelujah. And so when God has allowed it, he has allowed the devil to touch you. Let me talk to you. When God has allowed it, that means God is in whatever the situation is. Say hallelujah. I said God is in the mix. God is in the mix. God is never. I want to assure you if you're a believer, God is never absent in your life. Ah. Uh, Am I talking to a believer? I said God is never absent. <laughs> Hallelujah. For a believer, God is always there. And if you're not a believer, I want to call upon you to come to God. I want to ask you to give your life to Christ. I want to assure you that your burden shall be rolled away. I want to assure you that you can be forgiven. It shall be well with you. Aha! Uh -huh. I want to assure you that your pain can be turned into gain and joy in Jesus' name. I want to talk about triggers to dream fulfillment. Mm. Triggers to dream fulfillment. Whenever we live on this earth, I tell you this journey will take you to your destiny. Say hallelujah. And when I talk to you about your destiny, I talk about your life in totality. 
When I talk about your life in totality, I am talking about your social life, your relational life, your business life, your hey, own life, spiritual life. Let me tell you, there is an end that is great. Say hallelujah. You know something, even if you are ailing, you are dying of a disease. I know of a God. Ha, say hallelujah. A God who renews us even in our old age. The Bible says, even the young ones will faint. But those who wait upon the Lord, they shall be renewed. They shall mount up like eagles. So I want to talk to somebody. Even if you are suffering from a chronic disease. Aha. Uh -huh. Says, tell somebody it's not dying time. It is not dying time. It is time to see more glory. More glory. More glory. When I know the secret of holy communion. You know we know about holy communion. The Bible tells us that we should take it in remembrance of the work of the cross. Aha. So as we take it, we remember what Jesus did. And as we remember, some are said to be dying because they took it wrongly. Aha. But those who discerned the body say hallelujah. They get that better by day. Better by day. Better by day. Even if you are born with a chronic disease, you can get healed. In Jesus name. Even if you are born, born in deformity, you can be complete. Say hallelujah. So age. Age is not supposed to dictate grave. Huh? Age is not supposed to dictate problems, troubles, pain. In God, age is more glory. Ha, did somebody hear me? I said in God, age is more glory. Let's read the word of God. The book of James chapter number 4. James chapter number 4 verse 17. I want to talk about triggers to your dream. Better things are coming as you understand. The Bible says, if anyone then knows the good they ought to do and doesn't do it, it is sin for them. Say hallelujah. It is them. James chapter number 4, again, verse number 6. Verse number 6 says, but he gives us more grace. This is why the scripture says, God opposes the proud, but he shows favor. Say hallelujah. He shows favor to the humble. But he gives us more grace. God gives us more grace. Say hallelujah. And he opposes the proud. The Lord is again the proud. But he shows favor to the humble. Say amen. I want us to read the book of Genesis. Chapter number 4. Chapter number 40 verse 1 to 8. I'll read very fast. Verse 1 to 8, the Bible says, Some time later, the cupbearer and the baker of the king of Egypt offended their master, the king of Egypt. Aha. Uh -huh. Verse number 2, Pharaoh was angry with his two officers, the chief cupbearer and the chief baker. Verse number 8, let's read verse number 8. Let's read 7 and 8. 7 says, thank you. 7 says, so he asked Pharaoh, he, so he asked Pharaoh's officials who were in custody with him in his master's house, why do you look so sad today? Verse number 8. 
we both had dreams. They answered. But there is no one to interpret them. Then Joseph said to them, Do not interpretation belong to God? Tell me your dream. Verse number 12. Verse number 12. I want to jump because of time. 12 to 15 maybe. This is what it means. Joseph said to him, The three branches are three days. Uh huh. Verse number 13. Within three days, Pharaoh will lift up your head and restore you to your position. And you will put Pharaoh's cup in his hand just as you used to do when you were his cup bearer. Uh huh. But when all goes well with you, remember me and show me kindness. Mention me to Pharaoh and get me out of this prison. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. I was forcibly carried off from the land of the Hebrews and even here I have done nothing to deserve being put in the Dagon. Verse number 20. Verse number 20 to 23. Now, the third day was Pharaoh's birthday, and he gave a feast for all his officials. He lifted up the heads of the chief, the heads of the chief bearer, cup bearer, and the chief baker in the presence of his officials. Verse 21. He restored the chief cupbearer to his position so that the one that so that he once again put the cup into Pharaoh's hands. He but he Im, impelled the chief bear baker just as Joseph had said to them in his interpretation. Verse number 23. The chief Cupbearer, however, did not remember Joseph. He forgot him. Chapter number 41, we read verse number 1. Chapter number 41, verse number 1, and then verse 8 to 14. When two full ears, is your Bible saying two full ears? When two full ears had passed, Pharaoh had a dream. He was standing by the Nile. Verse number 9. Verse 9 says, Then the chief cupbearer said to Pharaoh, Today I am reminded of my shortcomings. Verse number 10. Mm -hmm. Pharaoh was once angry with his servants and and he imprisoned me and the chief baker in the house of the captain of the guard. Each of us had a dream the same night and each dream had a meaning of its own. Verse number 12. Now a young Hebrew was there with us, a servant of the captain of the guard who told him, we told him our dreams and he interpreted them to us, giving each man the interpretation of his dream. Let's stop it there. We'll continue. I want to talk to somebody. Or read verse number 13 and 14. 13, 13, 13, 14. And and things stand out exactly as he interpreted them to us. I was restored to my position and the other man was impaled. Verse 14. So Pharaoh sent for Joseph and he was quickly brought from the dragon when he had shaved and changed his clothes. He came before Pharaoh. Blessed be the name of the Lord. Now let me talk to you. Joseph had a dream. And the dream we know. In chapter number 37. Is about him. Being a senior person. In some authority. Some place. Say hallelujah. Where he saw. Even the father. And the mother. And the brothers. Were bowing before him. Let me tell you something. Joseph only dreamt but never interpreted a dream. A 
until when he got to prison in this journey as we walk we desire to see dreams come true aha uh-huh. you know dreams can be as wide as you think as wide as you pray because the bible says and god is able to do much exceedingly much more than what you you pray or even imagine Am I talking to somebody so you have the right to imagine so much I always like giving an example of chopper and I am waiting for a day that we'll have a chopper if there's no landing here in Dandora the chopper will land on our top floor huh? hallelujah uh, and I know God is faithful and God is able I say God is faithful God is able say hallelujah your future is in the hands of God and God has a good plan to give you a good ending listen you have a good ending I say it doesn't matter how your children are lying, lying right now but I want to say they have a good ending ah why are you not believing I say your children have a good ending because the Bible says bring them up in the right way and when they grow up they will not forget and the Bible says the children of the righteous shall be mighty we shall see our children great am I talking to somebody I say that they will be great they will be mighty whatever you are going through whatever is your dream I don't know there are some people who are looking forward to seeing themselves even getting to your masters or your PhD and let me talk to you age cannot even limit you I say age should not be your limit live to see your dream come true and you need to know the triggers look at this man this man dreamt but he did not know that he has a gift of interpretation he didn't but what did he do what he's supposed to do he did And that's why we read James chapter number 4 verse number 17 anyone who knows the good that you ought to do and you don't do it to you it is a sin listen to me every opportunity given to you i say every opportunity i say every opportunity we don't know what opportunity the lord may give you the lord may bring to your neighborhood a widowed woman who has no who is very old and unable to take care of herself and you don't know why she was brought there but listen to me it is your opportunity to exercise the right religion am i talking to somebody and don't look at that widow and say she has daughters she has children even when the scripture was being written about these widows god knew the widows will be having children true ah am i talking to somebody god knew that the widows will be having children but he made it a point to mention them to us we have a duty say we have a duty we have a duty to do good i say we have a duty we have a duty to do good we have a duty to do good you will do good even to people who don't deserve eh uh-huh. joseph walked a long journey say a long journey he passed the test of time because he hung on to jesus i say jesus he hung on to his god eh uh-huh. he hung on to his god until the end of it it doesn't matter the temptation he hung on ah it doesn't matter the trials he hung on let me tell you he passed the test of time he passed the test of wilderness am i talking to somebody eh even passing the test of the cross let me tell you when we talk about the cross is when everybody is denying you everybody denies you you are betrayed eh you are lonely 
You find yourself alone. But Joseph, hang on there. Am I talking to somebody? Triggers to the fulfillment of your dream will go with your passing the exam. Passing the test without giving up. You don't know why God put you in a position. But whatever opportunity you have, ah, somebody listen to me. Whatever opportunity you have, maximize the opportunity to do good. Now listen, Joseph did not have another opportunity. The only opportunity was in prison. God will test you in your pain. God will test you in that prison captivity you are in. You know, even sometimes being employed, we say we are in captivity. Listen, even in that captivity, somebody listen to me. That is when God will come. When you least expect, he will come. What helped Joseph was that he was not a proud guy. He was a humble guy. A humble guy. Listen to me. You know what he did? Joseph was concerned about the welfare of fellow people in prison. You are sad. You are sad. Let me tell you. There are some people when they are in trouble, they cannot even see your trouble. They are too, they are too self egocentric. Eh? You feel like when we say give, it's like we also, you think it is because we have money. Even as we are in trouble, but we give. Eh? We give. Reasons being because you know that maybe this opportunity will open your doors that you never expected. Joseph was concerned about the welfare. How many times are you concerned about the sick, about the weak, about the suffering? How many times have you chosen to do the right thing? Even when there is no promise. Eh? Look at, look at us. May God have mercy on us. Let me tell you. That dream interpretation of a fellow prisoner was the key to greatness. Huh? It is not the dream to Pharaoh that opened doors to greatness. It is the dream interpretation to a fellow fellow prisoner. Your brother's pain is your pain. Your brother's suffering is your suffering. The sadness of your brother is your sadness. Eh? So he carried the weight. And let me tell you, this guy never knew. And you know he was being thrown to prison, not guilty. So whatever the situation you are in, I know you're not guilty. I know you don't even deserve to be there. I know you can tell me I have prayed God. I know you can tell me you have fasted forever. I know you can tell me you have lived a, a holy life. But God has put you in a situation. Put you in a situation to shape your destiny. Shape your destiny. I say shape your destiny. Uh, you know, sometimes I talk, you think it's a joke. Let me tell you. One time I got an employment. <laughs> and this employment, you know, I was growing from one level to another to another by the grace of God in employment that time. And let me end it here. And this time I got this opportunity. And uh, unfortunately, I got pregnant. I have to go on maternity leave. And my boss says, uh, in this company, you don't get pregnant. And if you do, we don't pay you for the time that somebody else will have replaced you. Eh? That means if the person replacing you comes when you are six months pregnant, you will work for the next three more months with no salary. And when you go for your leave, you will work with no salary. Eh? I said, okay. This is not supposed to be a curse. This is a blessing to me. And this was a blessing, truly it was. Let me tell you. I worked for three months before I went for maternity leave with no coin. And job opportunities were coming from other people. But I remembered the God who told me I have brought you here 
for a reason. And so I could not be attracted by money, but the will of God. And so I stayed for three months and I went on maternity leave with no coin. Let me tell you, what happened while I was away was the trigger. And he remembered the purity who never complained with no coin in the pocket. The purity who served with no money in her pocket. The next thing I got when I was going back to the office was promotion. That is when I became a manager. The next thing I did was become a manager with no paper for management. I went, I went for management course while on duty. Let me talk to you. Your dream can come true. But the state of your heart determines. Am I talking to somebody? The state of your heart determines. Put down your pride. Because in humility, God gives favor. Ah, did somebody hear me? I said in humility, God gives favor. Do it and do it with all of your heart, with all of your might. Look at, look at Joseph. Joseph never did anything na kinyongo kinyongo. You know kinyongo, eh? eh? He didn't do anything just for the sake of doing. He did whatever he did at his best. Am I talking to somebody? The Bible says, and God was with him. And he prospered. And he prospered. What am I talking to you? I am saying when God is with you, let people see God. In whatever you are doing, in the service, even if you are in prison, you feel that is where you don't belong. I say, listen to me. Even if you feel you don't belong there, do your best. Grab any opportunity to do good and do good. I say do good. I say do good. You never know when. But listen to me. In church, do good. In your ministry, do good. In your place of work, do good. In school, do good. In the marketplace, do good. In your marriage, Am I talking to somebody? Your good will take you to your next destiny. I say your good will open doors to the next level. Your good will give you greatness. Did somebody hear me? I said your good will be your help. I say your good will be your blessing. Lift up your hand before the Lord and tell God I just want you to help me. Help me, Lord. Somebody speak to the Lord and say, help me, my father. I need to make sure the state of my heart is right. That my dream will come true. Some of us have been a hindrance to our own dreams. Because of the state of our hearts, you have been there and there and never remembered. Let me tell you, God causes a way of you to be remembered. If the state of your heart is good, you will be remembered. For the good you did, when it was so painful, you will be remembered. Lord, help us. Lord, help us to do what is good, even in our pain. To the glory of your name, receive honor, Jehovah. In Jesus' name we pray. Thank you.